on our way to Magnetic Island. Chia seed pudding on deck, obviously. Nice. This house is so nice. Pretty. We stayed at Nomad's Hostel. That's mine. There is no better way to spend your evening than listening to the waves or watching the sun go down. It wasn't the best sunset, but still, it was just so pretty. Not the healthiest dinner coming up, but we moved. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I woke up for sunrise every morning while I was here and it made the days so much better. Lorena and I decided to book a yoga class together. It was so beautiful. It was in this woman's garden. It was perfect. How pretty this is. Then we went and walked to the town for some breakfast. So, last night in my collector's free house. Like the addict I am, I got a cheesy pudding again. And a green juice, because I am a part-time Pinterest girly. What can I say? Then we were picked up by Emma, thank you for driving by the way, because none of us could, and Gigi, and we just drove around the island and had the best days ever. This isn't the dog smiling, this is we went back to the ice cream store me and Lorene saw earlier, got some ice cream and got to pet this really cute first. dog. Then we went to a butterfly forest. Then we went to Hawkins Viewpoint, it was so worth the views, but oh my god, what an experience. Being eaten alive while hiking upwards in the heat, not the best, but it was very funny and very worth it. Being alive. very hungry we all headed out to get some food and we stumbled across this cute little mexican the food was amazing but it was bloody so long it took so long to get there <laughs> honestly i'd eat chicken at this point i'm absolutely starving i'm gonna do the fort walk today we had the hawkins point yesterday What's this viewpoint called? Arthur Bay. Arthur Bay. I'm so glad I looked this way. I always spot the animals. So I thought we would only see them from a distance. Me too. He's so cute. Don't cry. He's so <laughs> cute. We found a small Oh, he's all poisoned, got three fingers. Oh, is he awake? He's awake. Oh, we need to know him. That's what we like to say. Guys, he doesn't look real. It looks like Teddy. <laughs> we need to go back and get the koala one now, don't we? Yeah, we do. And call it Kevin. Why Kevin? Because Kevin is just funny to say right. the accent. <laughs> oh, he's got a little itch. I just looked up. Oh, look, his little paws are black. Oh. Look how cute. I climbed. Be closer. Second spot. This is so stunning. We're not even at the top yet. Koala. Koala. This is so cool. This is the range find us they shoot people. That is so cool. I wonder what's making that noise. What the hell? 
hell is that? You're so cuters. That actually looks really comfy. Oh, it doesn't even look real. Oh my god, they're so cute. Can I see a koala? Yeah, it was there in the morning. Ah, uh. <laughs> sleeping. We have just done another hike. This nudist beach called Balding Beach. I wanted to come for so long. But oh my god, the walk we've done, I feel so sorry for Gigi, Emma and Marine for coming with me because oh my god, it's so long. It was so worth it, I'm sweating in them now. We had to go, all well, my phone's sitting out of so sad. You had to climb all the way up this mountains and all the way back down. <laughs> I didn't realize how long it would be. This was my highlight of the entire trip. It was beautiful. There was barely anyone there. We all took our tops off. It was just such a beautiful experience. It was really nice to do this with the girls. <laughs> so cute. Bye bye. Love you. Yummy. Quick food stop before going to the rock wallabies. So cute. getting sweet potato fries at the hostel. It was a halloumi burger. Yeah, How good is that? Four weeks old. Um, like the size of 10 cent coin. Really then we went to Bungalow Bay, Koala Village, which was so worth it. I really recommend if you are going here, you do need to do this experience. Some of the stuff I was a bit like, mm, like these turtles, for example, but the actual experience of seeing the koalas up close and this random wallaby, this huge wallaby just comes out of nowhere that wasn't even in captivity. It just knew there was food around, so it just rocks up. We all thought it was a kangaroo. It was just a really nice experience. I really enjoyed it. Oh, that one is so tiny. It does feel cruel though. Um, due to the fact that he was a rescued bird that was, um, his was injured a few years ago, it just quite happens why it's mended back the way that it should. Poor cockatoo. But she's making it difficult for me to be able to put on your guys' arms, so I'm gonna let her get off my arm on her own accord. You guys can probably see that rainbow right iridescent through her skin now. I'll put this. This is for his sleep on. So cute. Like, as you guys know, there's like crocodile wranglers and stuff like that out there. And they go out and like rehabilitate them or relocate them and stuff like that. You can never really understand, like, 100% know how old yeah. they are. You can tell roughly, you can get them growing up until they're about like, over 50 years old. So, it's literally like the size of all they jump straight onto a leaf itself. Um, and that's the whole reason for the Baptist Church. You might be able to see where that little stain is there. That's her little one. Then I took the rest of the girls on another nude beach excursion, but this time everyone came. We went to Rocky Bay. I wouldn't recommend this one as much. Didn't feel as hidden. Pretty sure we saw a drone. Like it just wasn't as good of a vibe. Also getting down there was very steep. So I'd prefer the other one if you are gonna do one of them. <laughs> Afterwards I had a well deserved protein shake then we headed back to Bungalow Bay to do this little bird feeding, they were so cute. I can't remember the name, my boyfriend's gonna kill me because he's his favourite bird, but they were so cute. One went on my head. I have a picture on my Instagram if you haven't seen that before. But oh my god, I'm just obsessed. They were just adorable, biting out your hands. But they're really loud, like really hectically loud. But then we listened to some music. It was just such a nice day. I cannot be asked tonight, so I'm gonna make this ready meal and then add some chicken that I'm gonna cook now. 
Did someone say bulking season? Jesus Christ. My Porsche control is off the Richter scale.